Now let's talk about all the advanced things you can do with templating. These are Teal Plus features at the time of this recording anyway. Uh, and so I'm going to show you all the advanced changes you can do to the resume and the visuals, uh, and then some uh, Teal Plus templates that you have available to you. So we're going to come over to the Advanced tab. And if you're not a Teal Plus member, it'll just show you these grayed out with the CTA to click. Uh, but I'm going to walk you through what all of these do if you have it or if you're considering it, so at least you can get a sense of what's possible. So first, we start with your bullets. Uh, that's uh, these and these separators. They're separators and bullets. If you want to make your separators dashes, uh, you can. Uh, sorry, bullets. That turns all the bullets into dashes, whether it's in skills or in the bullets themselves. Uh, you can do these arrows or these arrows, and then your separators. If you want to do dashes or pipes or commas, you can do that. You see that changing over here. We default to the circles, uh, but do what you'd like. Uh, if you want to do that, um, or do the arrows or chevrons. Next is your text. So the templates have an embedded text that they start from, and you know the sort of designed accounting for that. But if you did want to modify it, you could, and you can modify it pretty significantly. So this takes that text down. If we wanted to do like a real clean, consistent uh, resume, let's take the all to ten, just to show you kind of what you can do. Right, and you can see there, it's all consistent. You can make it tighter. Now, if you did want to make your body copy even smaller, you could do that. And you have the line heights on the presentation mode. But that's how you can control all the fonts. And if you want to do something kind of cool stylistically with the name, you could do that. Uh, and you can already see it's, you know, just those changes made quite a bit of a difference visually uh, to how it shows up. Uh, now, and that's, you know, that's pretty straightforward. That's the sizes. Then uh, text weights. You know, now that the name is so big, maybe we want to do it like extra light and do something kind of a little more modern at the top that's not so heavy. This allows you to control the weights. If you wanted to make these regular as well, you could do that. Now, I will say some of the templates, these mappings are broken. <laughs> so if you're seeing like secondary heading and it's not changing, let us know, put in a bug ticket. We have a lot of different templates and each one has its own code mapping to it. So we might've just missed a few. Uh, but the idea is body copy is everything that is text in the body. So if I make that bold, you'll see how don't, I, won't, I don't recommend that. Um, but if you want to do something like a little lighter, that's really light and probably hard to read. Primary headings are usually the, are, are always the sort of main heading in the, the section that you're in. Secondary heading is the one below. So if you were to do company position, company is primary. If you were to do position company, Position is primary. So whatever is the primary heading that you wanted to see. And then your name, you have control of. Uh, section titles, if you want to make those light and a little more minimal, you can do that. Um, your name. And then minor copy is usually like the dates or um, like the, the contact info and stuff like that. Then tra text transformations uh, are capitalization and how you're sort of reshaping the text. So say here I want to do all caps on my name. You could do that. Uh, and you don't have to worry about changing the, the actual content. If you want to make sure everything is capitalized always, that's title case. So, you know, that way if you maybe forgot to capitalize it, you could do it. Now, it's not going to be smart enough to do like if and is in there and you don't want to capitalize and, then do it yourself. It just capitalizes the first letter. It's using standard CSS. Uh, that's coding for how it does it. So that's how that happens. Um, but, you know, the, sec the naming of these is, is the same and that's how you control them. Then comes the spacing. And what we're trying to do here is enable consistency. If you're using Google Docs or Microsoft Word, right, and you're doing carriage returns, they could get inconsistent. So this gives you like a design system for your spacing. So if you want the spacing between the sections, you can see it here. That allows you to make that a little tighter. You know, some templates are real spacious. I'll show you some of those when we get to those. Uh, spacing between title and content. That's this area here. So if you, as you expand that, oh, sorry, the title, the section title. So if you wanted to make that real tight or have that be spacious, that's something you can play with. Section between uh, primary and secondary heading. So you see all those adapting together. You want that more airy, you can do that. Uh, between content blocks. So that's when you have like multiple positions under one company. 
that spaces those out. But again, it does it consistently across all your position and then between list items that controls those. You can control the text height over in presentation. Remember, here's your line height of the list heights in the body. And then this is if you want the spacing between the bullets, you can do that. All right, so that's your vertical spacing. And then borders, if the template has borders turned on, you can change their thickness here, but here you can also enable borders um, on any template that doesn't have them just by giving them a width. And so there you go. And that turns those on. Those are all the advanced settings. And with those, you can do quite a bit. So let's come back over now to our presentation and look at some other templates. So the ones with the yellow flag are advanced templates. And so here's some more kind of stylized design templates. We actually worked with a really incredible graphic design firm uh, to design these. And so they tend to have a little bit more of a designer aesthetic. So, you know, here has the sections over on the left, the section titling. And so for some of these templates, and I will say these are probably like the least ATS friendly. They, they go a little out there uh, visually. Um, it, you know, they're structured in a way that if you, if you notice, like when I highlight the text and I work down, it's still reading in order. So, you know, it understands the structure, but no guarantees on how an ATS is going to parse that. Um, but there's some, uh, some interesting ones that are doing different things where you can have the professional summary. This is what I would call a hybrid. Um, so we'll go ahead and pick this one hybrid layout and if we go to our sections you'll see that you've got three columns if you did want to put your skills above there you can and you wanted to put your you know work exp well I wouldn't recommend that uh, education here then you, that column goes away so there's interesting things you can do with these um, if you know if you want to play and have your target title here you could do that so it's a it's essentially a, a hybrid layout you have a single column at the top and then two columns below and you can rearrange those uh, and make all those adjustments. Um, but those are all here in your templates. You know, some of my favorites are are these kind of cool left column that really use a lot of white space, uh, which are pretty neat. If we come over to our advanced. Say you wanted to do something neat like a full name, all caps, and make your full name a little bigger stylistically. You know, I would probably then change that to extra light or something. Get rid of my border. All right, so that's a little bit more of an architectural design style layout. Uh, and you can do some cool things with that. See, this one also does have the professional summary as a label. So like, like I've said in some of the other courses, um, some templates do have the section titles enabled. And it's coded into to the layout. So the, the layout itself expects um, a certain design aesthetic. Um, you know, and this has like a little bit more of this spacious approach. It's meant to be airier and take advantage of white space and, and make it feel more uh, modern and, and designy. So that's some of the, the templates, some of the advanced templates, uh, or the Teal Plus templates and all the advanced settings. You really have quite a bit of control. But still, occasionally, there's things that folks want that we haven't enabled. Uh, italicizing is a kind of style versus the bolding. Um, let us know. We'd love feedback. We really want to give you a, a good amount of control, but we want it to feel systematic for you so it can stay consistent and cohesive, which is what we're going after. But uh, yeah, let us know if there's anything we can do to make this feature set better for you. But those are all the things you can do with the current advanced design mode.